so that Turkey is convinced so that we can have the CMP start digging in this garbage dump so that we can find all the remains of our beloved ones. For four years, for four years, I know that my dad has been identified. I know that there is a little box at the archaeological center in Kosia with his right feet and his right shoe. This is painful for me because I've been waiting on these years to make the funeral. I don't want to get older and not being able to do one. Lately, I read an article in the newspaper about a lady who's about 80 years old. Her father was killed at the Pindos Mountain during the Second World War. She was having his letter which was the one his da her dad sent her uh, while she, he was fighting with the Germans. She was still holding the letter and she was still wanting to know where the bones of her father was. I don't want to become 80 and hold some photos of my dad and his passport that the only things we have from him. The passport that he was ha holding in his hand when the Turk arrested him. He was trying to persuade them that he was an American citizen so that they could let him go. But the Turks didn't let him go. He just handed his passport to my mom because the Turks wanted to make his hands up and put him in a truck. Another issue that I want to ask for your help at the Archaeological Center during the excavations at the area. A lot of bones are still there with, which have not been identified through DNA tests. We have been told that many of them are mm, many tiny fragments that DNA tests cannot go through. However, I have seen those bones. They are, the natural, they are more than the bones that they have been identified. I'm asking and I'm begging for every, every direction. I'm with the government, with CMP, with the US Embassy. I want for every bone that can, a DNA test be made, to be made. Because I know this is due to cost and funding. <coughs> and I'm ashamed for any government that should see this humanitarian issue, not top of the priority, and give funds for every direction and not giving funds so that all the bones are identified through DNA. What I'm requesting, simple, to have all the bones that belong to my father, because I don't want to have a funeral with, to his right feet. Some of the bones in the garbage dump, some in the bones of the anthropological center, I don't want it. I want one place, one grave for my father, where I can go and visit him at last. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Maria. Thank you.